That's really what you see in ACEs is this idea of community, of the circle, of the connection, of we are all related. But ACEs does so much more than just STEM. It brings awareness in STEM, but it also helps to build communities. And that's what I really like about ACEs and the connections that we keep. It's heartwarming to me because I see these little native babies running around and I'm thinking, you know, you can be something amazing one day. Students are just blown away by all of the potential opportunities that are out there for them. It opens up a whole new world. What is it about computer coding that you like? I guess you could call the grind of it. Trying and trying and trying until you got the best code you can have. I think when I first started high school, in like middle school, high school, that I really liked sciences. And then within the past two years, I really got more into pharmacy. We support them through that journey as they grow and they go forward and then into college and they start thinking about who do they want to be and what do they want to become and again ACES is there through that journey. I had a scholarship through ACES. It was one of the Intel scholarships. So I was already familiar with ACES and so I was like, oh well I'll join the local club here. Will and Emily were already a part of it and they really introduced me and made me feel like I had a family here. It really felt like I had a place here and I deserved to be here. When I first went to college, I was a physics major and now I've completely completely changed from that. I've had internships in computer hardware and software. I've been to multiple states like Washington, California, um, and Texas that I never would have had the opportunity to go to were it not for ACES. I started ACES in 2016. I was really looking for a family. And ACES is there through that journey, watching them and nurturing them until they get into the workforce and then they start to grow their careers and ACES is still there through that part. How do you then become a leader within your career? I wasn't like the star student coming out of Stanford. The thing that I was good at was leading an ACES group, being a president of an ACES team. And those leadership things are what really helped me like now in my job. I've seen it happen of full force of students becoming leaders because of ACES, they're having more of an empowerment to be an indigenous scientist. At one point, all of my different ACES experiences, they're like ingredients in a recipe to make the recipe of like the scientist that I am today. And as they journey on, it then becomes time for them to circle back as those before them did to support them. It's giving back. It's giving back the culture I learned and allowing the next generation to, to be able to walk in the world that I've been able to walk in and, and provide that pathway and opportunity for them. For me, I consider it an honor to protect and manage water resources across the Navajo Nation because without water, we are not able to survive. And that's the way we see ACEs going into the future, is continuing that cycle. And that's generation over generation over generation.